Welcome to Delta Rune, Chapter 1. This side looks a bit dodgy. Yeah, this thing does not bloody fill me with confidence at all. Have a look at this. Oh, definitely this thing does not fill me with confidence. 6.6.6. .6. Anyway. You accept everything that will happen from now on. What kind of game is this? Are we connected? Oh, pardon me. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now. We may begin. That's repeating on me. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. That background is some of that cool Doctor Who shit. Alright, let's um, select the head here. One. Uh, ah, this one looks a bit better. Alright. Select the torso that you prefer. Uh, the, the, the hoodie type. That's alright. The hoodie type. So, select the legs that you prefer. Okay, I think we are creating our little character. So we'll choose those legs. This is your body. Do you accept it? If we're going to be playing uh, the game with this, uh, we might as well say yes. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Thank you very much. Now. Let us shape its mind as its own, as your own. What is, what is its favourite food? So we have sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, cold, so, sorry, what? Pain. Pain's not a food. We'll say salty. Yeah, salty. Like a bag of salt and vinegar chips. Your favourite blood type. So we have A, Ab, B, C, and D. I think I'm a bloody vampire. Let's go for the B. What colour does it like most? Uh, red, blue, Green cyan. Um, well, fuck it, we'll go for green. Please give it a gift. The gift of kindness, the gift of mind, the gift of ambition, the gift of bravery, and the gift of voice. Uh, we'll give it the gift of uh, mind. Why not? How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. I feel love, I feel hope, I feel disgust and I feel fear. I feel hope. Have you answered honestly? Okay, yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. What bloody game is this? Understood. Name your vessel. Okay. I'm gonna call my um, 
quote unquote vessel L A R R Y Larry that seems to be a good name Larry we call it Larry and what about the creator your own name well uh, the creator let's say T S taken. Zer! Excellent. Truly excellent. Zer. That's my name, don't worry now. Thank you for your time. And your, ans your answers. Your wonderful creation will now be discarded. What? No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris. Chris, if you don't wake up, we'll be late for school. Torio. Goat Milf. I will wait outside for you, alright? Dorio. Alright. Sometime in the future, there's going to be a little kid who's going to say something in between two pieces of bread and eating you up. So, this is us. Chris. Um. It seems alright. Yeah, that's your bed. Uh, clothes drawer. So. Okay then, what's out here? It's a beautiful day outside. Is it now? Quite good. What's over here? The drawer is mostly empty except for... A school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Interesting. Very interesting. What are we over here? There are CDs under the bed, classical jazz, religious, scar... Anything else? There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knock-off control. One knock-off one. Okay. I uh, yeah, I'm starting to see something here. Uh, it's a computer desk. There are many boxes under under it, filled with old books. What's this? It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. It looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. That's also interesting. Let's examine this thing. There's a lot of prizes and stuff on one side, but hardly anything on the, on the other. It's like... If this... Oh yeah, if this is like... Ezreal and uh, Chris's room, then Ezreal's really got it going on. But Chris, no, not really. Chris is empty. So, what do we have here? Uh, there are many books Tales of Snails, a story book. Snails do not have tales. Okay, scientific thing. Uh, can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Who the hell is Gerson Boom? There are crayons in the drawer. The labels have long faded and there is no green. There's no green. All the green's been used up. A cactus. There's not much to say. Mm hmm. It's only you. Some similarities to the first the game. Uh, this door is locked. Yes, some similar some similarities, I should say. To Undertale. Ah, there we are. We have here. What's in the fridge? 
Fridge. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. No daddy. Uh, uh, there's some white fur stuck in the in the drain. Just like other tail. There's some cinnamon uh, batter cakes on the stove top. So we need to go and clean that up. What do we have over here? Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread men, uh, humans. Nice. Uh, it's a trash can. Somehow it's missing a pleasant floral scent. Like like an air freshener kind of thing, is it? Telephone. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Or we'd like to call it down here a mobile phone. Chair. It's Cheerio, the beloved living room chair. Anything on the TV? It's the TV. It doesn't seem to be plugged in, uh, be plugged in anymore. Nothing to do with this chair. Da 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 da. What is going on here? This whole entire thing has now sparked my interest. All right, we're in the bathroom. You look inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy E's Cool Boy sp Body Spray, spray for the boys' flaming hot pizza flavour. It seems to be almost entirely full. Now, uh huh? It's the shitter. Flush it. Yeah. You flush the shitter. Nice. Um. There's a, on the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Anything out here? No? Okay. Let's go. So, uh, so there's nothing to go ahead and click onto or press here. Alright. Let's leave. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it's a beautiful day today, and is it not? I hope it stays this way when we actually Israel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? And here's the townsfolk! This is so... It's like a sitcom of some sort. Delta Rune, the sitcom. The Happy Townsfolk. Okay. The music is still quite familiar from uh, Undertale. Okay, all right. Alphas. So, does everyone have a... Uh... Oh, uh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming in today. We, we, we were doing group projects this month. Um, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? Ah, sitcom music. Crisp, or uh, various sorts, Tim already her partner. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Um, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partnered with the second smartest student. So, wait, Chris, I know I think about it. Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not. I actually want to get a name. Prick. Okay. Who's you? Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Yeah. Here. You want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Bernie already asked me. 
However, I could ask Miss Alphys if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if, you c if you're sure. Not yet, or yes. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Thank you, Jackalope Girl. Click, 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 tap, tap. Take him. Alright. Chris, you know Jockington and Catty are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Ah. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. Haha. <laughs> Monster kid. Now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Monster kid. Alright. Partner, I hardly know her. Boom ching! Ha ha ha! What you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got some. Scram! Oh, Rick. Okay. So, did you want to be partners? Yes! Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, wait, no, I don't approve. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... Now, well, what were you saying? She was saying we're fine being our low. Actually, I just want to know if... Now, well, can you please speak up? Uh, hi, Susie. Oh, the tough kid. <laughs> Am I late? Oh, uh, no, you, you're fine. We're, we're just um, choosing partners for the next group project. And um, Susie, you're with Chris. Right. Okay. Attitude problem. Uh, now everyone here, I'll write the assignment. Something wrong, Miss Alphys? Um, has anyone seen the chalk? Chalk. This is the third time it's gone missing and... You all know I can't start class without some. Uh-huh. How about this? If no one speaks up, everybody gets in trouble. Ooh. We don't want that now, do we? Uh, anyone? Uh, please? Uh, there may be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noelle. Since... Susie, since you came in last, why don't you get it for me? <coughs> Whatever. Attitude. That attitude from that girl. And Chris, you can go with her and make sure she... Uh, actually gets it and uh, stays out of trouble. Thanks, Chris. Uh, see you later. Oh, now I have to go and deal with the punk kid. Who eats chalk? <coughs> Chris. <coughs> Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? 
I don't like your tail, girl. Meh. <laughs> you can't even say. Girl, you have attitude. Chris. Uh, what's going on now? What are you doing? Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh, that's not good. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught CZ eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Ha! Ah, come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. That attitude I use. Girl! Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled for just having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're going to, going to pull the trigger. Ha ha ha. Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris. How do you feel? About losing your face. Dude, you dare. I will smack you. I will leap through the computer and have you for toast. Oh, you little... Nah. Chris, you got a good mother. It would be a shame to make her bury her child. Dude! Your sass is too much. Alright, let's get this over with. Well, get, we'll get more chalk, mostly back to class, and Chris... You'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. Don't bother answering. Why? If you haven't gotten it by now... Yes? Your choices don't matter. Let's go. Freak. Chris, you just got owned. You got owned, Chris. Damn. God. Can you walk any slower or what? Now, I get it. I get it. Not used to walking without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Ooh. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We're just starting to have fun. What's going on here? Um, hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark? And Oh, 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 so you're acting all tough, and when it comes to a dark little closet, you just pussy out. What's the hold of this? Are you gonna go in or what? Sass, you're sassy. 
Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Uh-huh. Yes. All talk. See? Why are you so scared? Oh, yes. All talk. There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. This goes out. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Gets further in. Indeed. Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. The hell is going on here? The floor. It's. Oh, there they go. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. What the? What the actual? Is that? Chris? Is that you? What the hell are you wearing and how do I cosplay that? Okay, um, that's, uh, interesting. You fell, and now you look blue and you look like, like a knight. At times you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature you reach out and... Save. This is weird. Where are we? What is this place? Well, anyway, all that and more in the next episode. I'm Sidecousin the 99th. Celebrate the fail. We'll be back for the next one.